Hi, welcome to CSPM Consulting. I'm Shadi Juma, and in today's video, we will continue our discussion on best practices for delay analysis. In our previous sessions, we talked about the significant impact delays can have on both cost and time, and how proper analysis is crucial in managing these challenges effectively. To recap, the key types of delay analysis are impacted as planned, time impact analysis, Windows analysis as planned versus as built, collapsed as built. Today, we're going to dive deeper into time impact analysis, or TIA, which is another highly regarded method. TIA is particularly recommended by industry authorities like the Society of Construction Law in their Delay and Disruption Protocol, and it's recognized as a robust methodology for determining the impact of delays on both project timelines and costs. One of the main reasons TIA is so effective is because it allows us to analyze potential delays prospectively before they actually occur. This forward-looking approach is similar to impacted as planned, but with crucial difference. TIA relies on the most recent schedule updates, giving us a more accurate and timely analysis. Let's break this down a bit more. With impacted as planned, you can take your original baseline schedule and insert hypothetical del delay event to see how they might impact your project. While this method is useful, it doesn't account for the dynamic nature of a project, where schedules are regularly updated to reflect actual progress. This is where TIA shines. Time impact analysis focuses on the most recent schedule update before delay events occur. By doing this, TIA provides a snapshot of how the delay will affect the project at the specific point in time rather than relying on a potential on a potentially outdated baseline this is especially important in complex projects where multiple changes and updates occur regularly for example let's say you have project with baseline schedule but the actual start dates of activities are delayed due to unforeseen circumstances like a delay in receiving engineering approvals if you were to analyze this using impacted as planned, you might miss out on capturing the real-time impact of these delays. However, with time impact analysis, you would take the most recent update and insert the delay event right before it occurs. This allows you to see exactly how this delay will affect the project timeline based on the most recent information available. This makes TIA a most accurate tool for analyzing delays, especially in ongoing complex projects. But time impact analysis isn't without its challenges. One common issue is ensuring that you have an updated schedule right before the event right before the delay event. In some cases, the schedule might not have been updated frequently enough, forcing you to rely on older data, which can reduce the accuracy of your analysis. This is a key limitation to keep in mind when using TIA. Additionally, TIA focuses only on what happened just before the delay. This means it might overlook earlier events that could have also impacted the project's timeline. For instance, if multiple delays occurred earlier in the project but were not reflected in the latest update, these might be ignored in the analysis, leading to incomplete conclusions. It is also important to note that TIA is prospective, it doesn't account for what actually happens during the delay itself, which could be critical in understanding the full impact of the event. That analysis is based on the assumption that the delay will have the same impact as it would if it occurred exactly as planned. 
which might not always be the case. Despite these challenges, time impact analysis remains one of the most recommended methods for delay analysis, particularly when you need a clear and timely understanding of how a delay will impact your project moving forward. It's a valuable tool, especially when coupled with regular schedule updates and thorough documentation. Let's move to a project sample. Using the same program we prepared in previous videos, you will notice a real-time events unfolding. As shown on the screen, the baseline schedule has been updated as per current progress that's shown in the baseline project start and baseline project finish columns are for the baseline dates and current dates are shown in start and finish columns. The baseline schedule planned for, planned for excavation work to start on 24th of February 2024 and finish on 6th of March 2024 with the blinding scheduled immediately after from 6th of March to 9th of March 2024. In reality, these activities were executed as planned. However, for the foundation works, the contractor was set, set to begin on 10th of March 2024, but work didn't commence due to the delay in receiving engineer's approval. This delay lasting 15 days is what we will analyze using the time impact analysis method. To do this, I first take the most recent scheduled update prior to the delay, which is from 10th of March 2024. I then added the delay event full duration into this updated schedule and link it to the foundation work since the foundation works won't be able to commence until the engineer's approval is granted. After adding the new logic to the schedule, I will run the schedule as of 10th of March 2024. And as you can see on the Gantt chart, the original planned completion date was on 26th of May 2024. And after updating the schedule, the new projected completion date shifts accordingly to 10th of June 2024, after accounting for the delay. Revealing a 15-day extension due to the approval delay, without applying the time impact analysis, this critical shift might have been overlooked or captured less precisely. Now, what if we were using the impacted as planned method instead? In this case, we would insert the delay into the original baseline schedule, which wouldn't fully capture the nuances of the updated timeline and take into consideration actual progress that actually happened. This is why time impact analysis is preferred for projects with frequent updates. In summary, Time impact analysis is a powerful tool for understanding the impact for delays on project's timeline, especially when used with the most up-to-date schedule information. It allows for more precise and timely assessment, which is crucial for making informed decision about time extensions and cost entitlements. However, like all other methods, Time impact analysis has its limitations. It requires schedule update and may overlook earlier delays that aren't reflected in the most scheduled up updated data. But when used accurately, it provides a clear and effective way to analyze and manage project delays. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has given you a better understanding of time impact analysis and how it can be applied in the real world scenarios. 